This tool is called the Call Out tool, and it's extremely useful for placing notes with an arrow on your drawing. Let's have a look at our preferences first. The Call Out preferences can get the text from a database. You need to have a database. There's a couple that come with Vectorworks. If you click on this button, you'll be able to find them. I've actually placed one for you in the Exercises folder for the Essential Manual, and it's the one that I'm using right now. And it allows you to get text that you've already written. We can change the marker. We can change the arrow, so I want that to be 45 degrees. I want it to have an open end, and I want to have a custom thickness on the end of that, which is 0.7 millimeters. So it's quite a fat arrow on the end, and quite large. We could make that slightly smaller, and then OK. We could format the text, and we should be able to choose one of our text styles already created, like that one. Click OK, and now click OK again. We can then place this using two-point mode. So you click, click. Let's choose steel plate, click on update, and then OK. Or, if we're not getting our text from a database, we can type the note in. So click, click, so we're going to write construct from mild steel plate. So I type it in. Now the problem is that I might make a spelling mistake like that one. Whereas if I have the text in a database, I can check the spelling and then it's easy for me to get the text correctly spelled with the correct terminology and everything. I can easily change my text style from Arial 10 point to Arial 20 point and back again. So this is a way of connecting my text styles to all of my information on the screen, including the text up here. If we get the text from the database, when we double click on our callout, you'll see there's my database. I can choose a new one, and I can also add additional blocks of callout. So we might have several of these. The first one uses the steel plate. The next one might choose the color. And the other one might have the galvanizing. I'll just select all of those together and change the text style to 10 point. So after galvanizing, we're going to paint it, we're going to construct it, and there's our fabrication. So let's get rid of those notes and let's convert these into something called a keynote. Place as keynote. And you might notice that what I've now got is a block of text up here, very similar to what we had before, but we have keynotes here which tell us about the note. So in other words, note number one is there, note number two is there, and note number three is there. And it might be that we want to change the order of these. Double click. We can choose the steel plate and we can move that up. So that's number one. We need to fabricate, so we need to have the, the galvanizing next. So galvanize should be next, and the paint should be last. So we can have these callouts. We can change the way they look. We can put notes in front of them. So I just want to give you a brief introduction to the concept of keynotes. And I'm going to use my note description. So it's got steel plate, galvanize, and paint. And these blue handles control the width of that gap, controls the width of the text here. So it's quite flexible. 